Yo, what's up, guys? How's everybody doing? <clears throat> How's everybody doing tonight? Oh, shit. Fuck. Damn it. My chat glitched. Give me a second. And I can't move my mouse. Bruh. There we go. Nice. Yeah, bro, that shit was spooky. I am not playing Redfall. I love the land bench. They look so cool, man. I was playing some Mass Effect 3 for a little while. Made some decent progress in that. I did like the Leviathan storyline or whatever tonight, which is really cool. I like that a lot. Where you get to see like the uh, Reapers before they made the Reapers, basically. Alright, so there's a fucking dog tag somewhere around here. I'm guessing at the end of this time. Yup, here we go. I think that's an achievement unlocked. Get 11 dog tags. So basically the Reapers are a artificial intelligence version of like these like actual aliens. So, like, the aliens themselves look exactly like the Reapers, except they're not machines. So, it was like this underwater squid race, basically, that controlled the entire galaxy. And they basically made these machines to, like, automate, I guess, all of their fucking technology. And, you know, ensure their survival. Well, like, the fucking Reapers or whatever... I guess figured the best solution was basically to kill off all life form after a certain number of years once they advance to a certain point in time. And that's basically what they are. But yeah, not to go into the full blown fucking Mass Effect lore breakdown, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. How far am I? I have no idea. I'm doing like literally everything, man. I love Mass Effect 3. So I'm like playing every side quest and everything I can find. Alright, why is my chainsaw going on? Scratch one grub. Fuck, man. You know that nobody's been underground in years, right? I know. Look, man, it's
it's enemy territory. I mean, it's bad enough when we're fighting these things outside, in broad daylight. But underground? In the dark? Yeah, could be bad. But hey, don't tell Bear that. Did I fuck He's scared shitless as it is. Um, I'm thinking... So right now... I'm still torn between either Liara or Miranda. But I'm debating. I'm probably just gonna flip a coin, bro. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I just want the achievement. So, whichever one I don't fuck up, I guess. Because I think Miranda's is super easy to miss, right? Because she only appears like three times in the game. And if you fuck up any one of those dialogue Miranda. options, you're kind of, so long. kind of screwed. We've been here for at least two minutes. Well, good for you, smartass. Give us your location. The basement. And it's a dump. Can I keep Control. This, up? this is Delta. We're in. Copy that. Keep Feels like moving I should be through the factory till you find the cart control room. What ending am I doing? I'll use the carts know, to man. get you to the mine. I gotta figure it out. Delta, let's not waste any time meeting up. Let's just find that control room. Watch out for the boogeyman. Just see if you can get the lights back on. Delta one out. Yeah, I never actually played the Citadel DLC, so this will be my first time playing through it, and I'm actually really looking forward to it. I'm actually really looking forward to the Citadel DLC. Locked, and it's too thick to cut. Like how claustrophobic they make this mission, man. Like they absolutely fucking killed the atmosphere of this game, bro. Like it's just so good. The atmosphere of this game is just really fucking nice. Productions of the two of you considered playing 40k bolt on the screen? Ah, oh, possibly. I wouldn't be opposed to it. And Oski Waski with the two, flip a coin and see what happens, honestly. That's right, man. Can't really go wrong with either, I feel like. Gaming. <laughs> yeah, Baird, you did. Yeah, turn them off, will ya? Huh? What? Never mind. I have to do a new game plus playthrough of Mass Effect 3 anyway to get all the achievements, so I can always change my mind, I guess, later on, right? Why not have both? Cease fire! <laughs> Dipshit. Finally, the rescue team. What are you doing in here? Waiting for you? I'm ready to go. We're looking for the cart control room. Where is it? Well, you have to get down to the factory floor through that door, but it's locked. Well, how about you help Timothy us Marco unlock it? Five, you see the Twitch mod oh, that confessed me? at a bar to come in his leaving? pants? Wait, Not hugging yet. a female? What? That has to Deep be a troll, shit. right? Like, he's just obviously joking. Jesus fuck, man. This is Delta One, still proceeding as planned, but we have a stranded with us. That no has to be a shit. fucking ironic they statement. They seen any geobots. They still need one for our junk. Ain't no way, hey, bro. Hey, Bear, keep looking for that cart control If you bust a nut Phoenix just at out. hugging a chick, like, what the fuck, man? That's really sad. How is that even enough stimulation to bust a nut? Just hugging like some random chick. Like the fuck? Ooh, 
Oops. Oh, I guess we are supposed to go this way. Delta two, come in. Watch the vents. Roger. Right? I don't think I've played this game in like what? Nine so, years. Could you give us low. Delta Two's location? GID readings are faint. Looks like I remember it pretty well, but not system? perfectly. There's shit everywhere. Come you on, wanna man. fuck a Spanish Nobody chick? Is? Good for you. Why Bills specifically a Spanish chick? Yeah, it also builds disease. You Delta Two out. See? See? No so. way. Sucks to be them. I mean, other than that, I can't really think of uh, anything to say. Hi, boys. <laughs> I can smell you two a mile away. Screw you, man. Get down here and see how much you like. There's room for one more. It's a fucking party now. <laughs> no thanks. Keep moving. We'll see you at the carts. He hugged a Twitch streamer named ST Peach. Hold up, who the fuck is this bitch? She better be like the hottest woman on female or like fucking on female Twitch ever. Otherwise, that is a massive fucking L. Let's see. Images. I mean, she's all right, but it's like, damn, man. You busted a nut just from like a normal looking girl. Oh, and she's married. Bruh. Yeah, that's an even bigger L. I mean, she's not ugly, but it's like, damn, she's not like, holy fuck, bro. Um, let me find a decent picture to pull up. Um, oh, that's like a fucking TikTok. Let me see. This is what she looks like. Magnus Metal Desk has quickly become one of my absolute favorite things in my gaming setup. I mean, she's not ugly, but it's like, okay. I mean, so she's just normal looking, I feel like. Sets for height adjustments. We're just going to go lower. So I don't really know how that's like literally come in your shorts worthy. And now, but, hey, man. We're sitting. It's so seamless. And it comes with this perfect. I mean, she's not unattractive. Like, she's just normal looking. I, I don't know, man. I mean, I guess for Twitch mod standards, this is like, holy fuck, man. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, she's not ugly. Like, she's pretty attractive, but it's like, damn, bro. Just the simple fucking motion of giving her a hug made you bust a nut in your shorts? Like... Bruh. Jesus. Like, I was expecting, like, supermodel status, bro. Like, that's maybe the only way I could see it. But even then, it'd still be fucking weird. Because how the fuck are you busting a nut just from a hug? That's odd. Man. That's odd no matter how you try to spin it. Cause like I don't know how the fuck that would stimulate you enough. Be all right. Oh, bro, you can already tell something's gonna go wrong. <laughs> Bruh. Shit, he's gone. I forgot about this. Oh, 
Uh oh. Rape is not good. I'm withdrawing my consent. No means no. Shoot the floor either. Bruh, this is why I have trust issues. They just keep respawning, man. You can't kill them. Dom, get the fuck out of the way, bro. You trying to trip me up here? <laughs> there we go, hopefully. I did it! Damn, what the fuck's up with the frame rate? the buggy ass PC port from back in 2014.
won't see him. Stop the train, baby. Hell yeah. <laughs> you guys look good. Oh, smell good, too. I don't want to hear it, man. Can't stop Not the train, a baby. word. Whatever you say, man. What about the resonator, Cole? Still in one piece? You know it. The train is a smooth ride. Where are we going? Nope. Shit. I have no idea what I'm turning, yeah. but I did something. I saw something. Up high! Nice! Nice cock! Hell yeah, man. There's a pregnant chick in my high school. Hell yeah, man. Out of the way! Oh. You can fuck her risk free then. Oh yeah! that sound anywhere. Boomer. I knew that shit was coming. So Rick Rod with the five, I gotta thank you, Griff. You streaming Gears made me get Xbox Game Pass on my PC. This game is a blast. I need a Gears 2 remaster. That's my favorite. I don't understand why it's taken them so long to do a Marcus Phoenix collection, but hopefully Phil Spencer's slip up is accurate and that is in fact coming because that shit would control. be absolutely. This is fire. Delta. We're at the cart control room. Copy that, Delta. Everybody. Grab some ammo. Man, you shit has me. Oh, this own fucking carts. mission. No way am I standing this next to fun. you. What? Let's just get this over with. Let's do this thing. Whoa. Anywhere, now! 
guess I need to pay better attention. You guys okay? Nearly. Come on, baby. The train's at home on the rails. So Zachary with the 10, at least he can handle physical interaction. Sight does it for me. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, bro, if I saw Pokemon in real life, I'm not even gonna lie, man. I don't think I could live with him. Uh, what's up, Griff? From the GGG, been a while, and I can hardly catch a stream. It's, it's, it's nice, man. Been working too much and having fun. Hey, that's a, that's a good problem to have. Appreciate you stopping by. Big ups. Glory of Nilfgaard, the two, I'm playing Street Fighter 6 and having a blast. Nice, man. I'm gonna pick that up eventually. Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like if it was like a spontaneous ejaculation, it wouldn't even have to be fucking hard. Duh, with the five? My friend bet me 1k to lose 100 pounds in 100 days. The remainder of my summer tuition depends on my victory. Wish me luck. Good luck, man. That's a lot, bro. 30 pounds a month, basically. I mean, I guess it depends on how much you weigh, but that's a lot of fucking weight to drop in three months. Fuck out of the way, bruh. Holy shit, man. What the fuck is this retard doing? platforms down now. Once you're in the mine, you'll need to find the pumping station and plant that resonator. Get it done before dawn. You don't want to be there when the krill come back. It's go time, baby. Oh, 
stinks down here. There's krill shit everywhere. Oh, I remember this part. All right, enough. Let's get this done and get out of here before the krill come back. I heard that. Guys, I wish I was playing co-op so I wasn't so scared. with the resonator. Cole, Baird, you two stay here and guard the merchandise. Hey, you have to tell me twice. We'll radio you when it's all clear. Get off the phone, we got fuckers to shoot. <clears throat> Bro, those motherfuckers are actually trying to shotgun spam from that far away. Don't bitch. If I do, <laughs> scary. Did I seriously miss that shot? Oh, yeah. There we go. I redeemed myself. Next. If I remember this correctly, there's like this oil rig looking platform up ahead where there's like a bunch of like locust camp. Oh fuck. I had to get behind cover. station first. You'll Bump guide us in. Deal? Deal. Bro, 
only thing I'm trying to pump in this game is on you, bro. Hell yeah. You hear that? gonna come up soon. Okay, we're running out of time. We gotta split up and find that station. I hope I got the right path here. Hey. You're on I the right side, bro. Contact! Oh, yeah! Scratch one grub. a college story well one time when i was in college i went to class came home from class and then we sat in my apartment it was a pretty crazy day not gonna lie and then i did the next and i did that for pretty much every day after that for the next three years wild shit i'll tell you man Sneak up from behind is me. How big is this goddamn mine? We must be close. Bear, you guys still out there? Yeah, unfortunately. Bro, well, there's gotta be a collectible down here. Oh, wait, no, this is the path forward. Fuck! That means the collectibles may be over. Way. That's a nice ammo. Bro, this would have been a perfect spot to put some dog tags, but nah. Guess not. And you're like, fuck off. What are you, a fucking little bitch? Oh, yeah. Damn it, man. I should not die, bro. See, I got to charge my watch, too. It's almost dead. How big is this goddamn mine? We must be close. Bear, you guys Bigger still out there? Yeah, unfortunately. Easy, bro. Yeah. Playing on ultra hardcore or whatever the fuck. No, I'm playing on normal. I'm not on easy. Enemy spotted! Thank you very much. Give me some credit. Oh, yeah! You actually die really quick in this game, though. Just in general, regardless of what difficulty you're on. 
Gears 1 was pretty unforgiving. Next. Oh, fuck, man. Not the end. Let's do this. Oh, shit! Corpser! It's him or us. There's no going back. There, we've got a corpser. Damn, that explains the earthquake. Okay, we're on our way. Let's see if I remember how to do this. I like completely fucking forgot. I don't think it's Bella. Oh, it is. Yeah, nice. Big ups, man. I appreciate it. I wonder why his neck isn't vulnerable, but his belly is. That's interesting. I thought it was gonna be like you shoot him in the mouth when he like yells. Like that's what I was thinking it was, but I guess not. Hit him in the gut. I guess that's why it's called Belly of the Beast, right? <laughs> Damn, bro, you got the reach. Alright, so then I had to shoot him in the face. Alright, it's coming back. I wasn't off on shooting him in the head completely. You just have to shoot him in the gut, then the fucking head.
Gotta get him in the gun. Hope, I guess not. I think we're just pissing it off. Really? Wretches! Oh, I remember now. Yup, that's what you have to do. Blow it up on the fucking uh, joint of like the bridge. There we go. Marcus, don't even give a fuck, bro. If that was Kate, she'd be like, oh my god. Ah, just in time. Yeah, just in time to kiss my ass. Man, I can't believe we missed this. Cole, still got the resonator? Booted, suited, and ready to get executed. And the time? 5.15. Sun's coming up soon. Let's move. It'd be cool if they actually made Gears of War games with cool environments like this again. Whoa. Look at all of that juice! Hey Marcus, how much do you think all that emotion's worth? I don't think I can count that high. <laughs> Bro. It'd be a nice problem to have for real now. I don't count the switch. Yeah, this is the part I remember. The like oil fucking refinery or whatever the fuck. Or I guess not oil. Yup, yeah, this is exactly there what is. I remember. And there's like a okay. fuck ton Here's of enemies that spawn on this platform uh -huh. that are bitched. We're going out. straight in. Cole, Baird, you two flank right, provide support. Above all, protect that resonator. Got it? Got it. Got it. <sighs> You hear that? What the hell's that sound? It's just the wind. Yeah, right. When's the last time the wind said hostiles to you? Uh, those aren't drones. Oh, shit. Looks like they upgraded. They're called Theron Guards. Dude, I've think used they to know love the Theron Elite. we're not here to sell cookies. So they know they're something's Theron Elite up. is who I used to play as in, uh... Let's Here's clear three. that station. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Bruh. He fucking tagged my ass. And then you gotta walk all the way. Yup, I remember this part, man. This shit was AIDS. This shit was fucking you AIDS, that? bruh. What the hell's that sound? It's just the wind. Yeah, right. When's the last time the wind said hostiles to you? Those aren't drones. Oh shit. Looks like they upgraded. They're called 
they're on guards. You think they know what we're doing? Well, we're not here to sell cookies. So they know something's up. Let's clear that station. Yeah, we're here for a cupcake, guys, not cookies. Fuck! I survived. Come get me. Ain't no way. Bitches, move up. Dom is one hundred percent going to die. Yup. right now. Come on, bitch. Peek out. I did beat this game on hard four on Xbox One. And I think that's why it gave me so much trouble for so long. Guards are tougher than drones! Faster too! Because these guys, like, on fucking harder difficulties, are, like, laser accurate. They don't fucking mess with the, uh, fear on the road. out of here. The general ROM fight is like literally one of the most AIDS thing on any Control, sort of higher this is Delta. We're clear. Resonator has been detonated. That did it, Marcus. Stand by. King Ravens are en route. So are we going back to base? I guess so. 
good, cause <laughs> oh I'm God. done. Food, man. Hot food. All day long. Hot poon, bro. Delta! Oski Waski the two, news. brothers till the end. It didn't work. Uh, the end. What do you Achieve mean her. it didn't work? Which one was that? I don't remember what achievement that was. There! Let's Any go! generation with the 10? Yeah, I can't. They introduced the locust to dubstep. I mean, that lousy resonator didn't deliver the goods. According Bruh. to Anya, we're missing data on hell. Resonators to map these tunnels. So what? We'll use this instead. I'll use it to smash your teeth in. How about that? Shut up and look at it. Look, those are locust tunnels, Phoenix. You know I'm right. Where did you find that? It popped on screen when I hacked in. The files were there. Phoenix, report! Anya, are you seeing this? Affirmative. And Private Baird is correct. That Geobot is showing more tunnel data than the Resonator. Oh, this is bullshit. Give me a zero point on that data. Sir, well, it, it came from East Barricade Academy. From his father's house, specifically. Whose father? Sergeant Phoenix, sir. You think you can still find your way back home, Phoenix? Yes, sir. Reroute those choppers, Lieutenant. They're taking Delta to EBA. Damn, that was pretty tame, man. I thought he would have cracked his head like a Pepsi. Helicopters and gears of war are always going to be fucking bad. <laughs> Really good progress in this campaign, man. Cook it. Three fifths of the way done. Incoming. We need to secure this courtyard. Move out.
enemy. Secure the quarry art. I'm pretty sure we did that. Is there like some random enemy somewhere? Okay. I, I don't fucking know. Form up! Control, this is Delta. Confirming 6-4 report. First drop zone aborted. The we best of the two, barricade. someone tipped the DSP. I guess it's WWE Copy Champions that, time. Be advised, there are survivors at 2-5's crash site. That's that then positivity that's to fill with What's the situation in. on the ground? Who was it? Was it Jinx or you somebody have two else? Options, Delta. You can take the street or move through those buildings ahead of you. Some dude Dom. named Jax? We'll huh. Jinx, now Jax? Hmm. That sounds a little sus, man. A trend is being established. Got him. Was he tipping for positive content on Street Fighter 6? Shame if somebody remembered it. Bro, I fried his shit. He should be gone. Even with the two, if you release that video, I'm leaving phase. All right, man, I won't. Shit, don't do it.
What the fuck are they doing? What is going on over there? Other than straight tism, man. like a staircase I'm missing like the fuck bro the tism is like activating right now Door secured from above. Jesus. Sit tight, Dom. We're almost there. That was some straight tism. Hammer of Dawn is offline. <laughs> From one of my friends, buddy, he's all like, check out this hot one. I'm like, bro, that's my sister. Is she bad though? Uh, I saw her with the two. Can't wait until you get the oh, That's right, man. Well, I got a ways to go because I still got all of pack four and five pretty much. So we got a ways. Thanks for nothing, Dom.
Thanks for the assist. What you know assist? It. That's bro. why we're here. That bitch didn't do anything. going anywhere yet. All right. Dom and I will go ahead and clear the way. You catch up when you can. All right. Control, this is Delta-1. Delta-2 is caring for wounded and flagging for pickup. Is the conservatory clear? As far as I can tell, Delta-1. Then that's our route. Tours. I'll take those. That looks kickable. Shit. No. Nope. Jack, rip this door. Well, you know what that means. Yeah, I know what that means. Take cover. Didn't even need to use the hammer, bruh, because I'm a pro. Nice. Now what? There. Situation's foobar here. Hostiles everywhere. We're getting the hell out. Roger that. Watch your ass. We'll see you at the house. This state just won't end. Yeah. At least in prison, they gave me three odds and a cot. Peaceful. 
This is a berserker part, right? All right, one shot. You have been trusty for now. But... Yeah, I was thinking this was gonna be a berserker because it looks like a fucking battle arena. Which usually means boss fight. Too close. Too fucking close. Alright, so I guess I just have to knock the fillers down. Date it. We can't make it. We need to use the head. Anya, Berserk. Satellite. Affirmative. Open the 
It missed. Fucking a rat. How about we never do that again? Yeah, that works for me. Why is the timer still up there? Either, either, either subscribe, donate, Quit rushing or get the me. fuck out. The Phoenix Estate, man. Marcus was bawling. It's not a hole. Oh, can you not get up there? That's so lame. Oh, maybe you have to go around.
Boomer. Bro, where is it? Oh shit! Fuck! Bro, he almost got me. He almost fucking got me. Oh yeah. I was going like, bro, where the fuck is this guy? And then he just fucking literally almost completely ass rapes me. Those pro gaming reaction times are fucking sick. I shoot. Oh, I guess I'm not supposed to. Do that. I go. Close to home. Hell yeah, man. 
Dude, we are almost done with this game. Damn. This is right at the end of the uh, act, I believe. Next! Nice! I believe the strat for killing General Ram like, really easily is the um, fourth bow. Thank God somebody uh, stashed some ammo in the ship. One small detail that's kind of irritating is like for right there he was nice. swinging that grenade in the later Gears games if he was doing that it would have dropped his feet and went up. Collectible, man. They should have put tags over here. This would be the perfect spot. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Bro, Marcus doesn't use steroids. He's all natty. Coming up on the house. We're at the stairs now. Copy that. We'll meet you in the courtyard. What's going on up there? Well, there's a bunch of assholes with you. guns up Gaming. here. Gaming. <laughs> this was a multiplayer map, if I remember correctly. This is actually a pretty cool multiplayer map. Oh, shit. Here they come. Bro, he still is not going down. 
I saw the mag in the back. Uh, you're blocking my shots. Bring it. Kind of ironic that a God lot damn. of um, professional Call of Duty ahead. players actually came from Gears of War, like MLG shit. Uh, copy that, Anya. We are aware. Whoa, yeah, baby! <laughs> like Gears of War was the original MLG game, guys. What's up, ladies? And then um, inside. a lot There's of people like started too, forming Call of Duty teams. Now we can get out of this shithole. And a lot of like ex years no pros went to play professional college. Kind of interesting. I told you I'd fix it. Listen up. We don't have much time. Get back there and make sure that APC works. We're going in. Let's see. Delta Gold the two secret limited DSP 100 rage video. Yeah, so we watch it at some point. Not now with the two playing Gears 3 got to the part where Dom died. Bruh. Oh my God, bro. That's a fucking spoiler. Shut the fuck up. You ruined the entire franchise for me. And I saw it with a five. I missed my Toyota GR86. That's impounded from street racing. That's a 28k card. How much do you have to pay to get it back, man? Or do you just have to wait to get it back? That fucking blows, bro. And Hayden Acres of the two months. Worst movie I've seen. Star Wars Episode 7. Very easy choice. They're coming out of that hole. Plug it up. You just have to wait. That fucking sucks, man. So what is your, like, total fine for street racing? Because I imagine they're not going to, like, actually give you jail time for that shit. But, like, what do you think you're going to have to pay when all is said and done? Here's where Marcus got buff as a kid, guys. He was a gamer, too, with a dual monitor setup. Like, fuck, man. That's pretty baller. Those frags, bro. Upstairs is clear. Baird, what's the status oh. on that APC? The status is that it sucks. The clutch plate is cracked. I'm gonna have to take out the flywheel. Hey, Baird. And pull the drive shaft Enough. for sure. Just mm. fix it. Uh, right. Roger that. I, I, I can do that. Yeah. yeah, when Abby got cut off from her supply of steroids, Did you, feel that? you know, she lost it's her gotta be another hole. muscle tone. <laughs>
Where are they at, man? Three days in jail, $1,000 fine. Uh, that's not too bad. Could have been 10 to 90 days. Damn, bro. Yeah, I don't know if they would be like complete fucking dicks and give you that for a first offense. Typically, I mean, 10 days But typically, for stuff like that, they just try to get. An easy money maker for the city. probably missed so many from not sawing off like all these fucking furniture pieces. There's Shit, that was well hidden. You know what? I gotta do this, guys. I forgot. I forgot this is the achievement spot. I think this is the achievement spot because you need to get a uh, three kills with grenades, I believe, or maybe it's four. I can't remember. I gotta check my achievements real quick, guys. It's an easy one to get. Um, I think it's called like cluster fuck. Kill three enemies at once ten different times on any difficulty. I think there's three enemies in that room, right? <clears throat> Let me just run in there real quick and check. I see two. Oh, there's only two. Fuck, never mind. Rowan Frag! Well, that's unfortunate. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. oh shit. I thought he was dead. Oops. Sweet. Oopsies. All right, I'm gonna throw a grenade for real this time, guys. Scratch one grub. 
Surprise. Balls, no. uh. yeah. Quiet. Hey! It's all clear out here! Damn it! I hope I'm cold. Whoa, sorry, baby. More tremors. Nothing we can do about it. Keep moving. Cole is a legend. Ooh, thank Got you. <clears throat> Damn, bro, Marcus's dad was straight ballin' if this was his wine cellar. Shit, man. I look forward to the days where I can be like so fucking wealthy, I can just drink all day, every day, and have people drive me around. So I can still get shit done if I need to do. But I'll be like basically 24 7 buzzed. I think we found it. APC's online. We're coming in. Jack, rip. Copy that. Marcus. There's only one reason Locust stopped digging. Check your ammo. Coming, bro. Uh, Fuck you mean here they come. Nice. Nice. They're coming back. Marcus, it's open. Plug in and see what you can find. Let's fucking go. All right, Anya. I'm bringing up the data now. Stand by. What are we looking at? They're focus tunnels. that qualifies as enough data to get the job done? More than enough. Then let's get out of here. Start pulling the data. I can't. The files are too big for this bandwidth. Then we'll take them with us. Jack, download this data. Confirmed, but it'll take a while. Guys, there's still a war going on up here. Get up here, will you? Give us your location. Front of the house, second story. Hurry up. We're on our way. Beep, beep, boop, bop. Oh, yeah! We're on the second story! We need to finish this! Yeah! Oh, shit, man. Dom fucking plugged my asshole and wouldn't let me walk through the fucking door. Damn it. Bro, I get it's Pride Month, but hop off my cheeks. Good night. We're on 
the second story. We need backup. Oh, he almost did it again. Seriously, now. Let's move out. Right behind you. Dome, more like dome. Flute dome, that is. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm not a fan of having my asshole plugged, believe it or not. I cannot say it feels very nice. The locusts are in the courtyard. Kick. Nice. I can't even hit it. How do I get to the back of the house? There's no fucking windows. Oh. 
Close that up. My god, I got stuck on the fucking hole, dude. Ah. Oh. Marcus, Jack's got the data. Everybody move to the APC now. The one that I fixed. Much. Bro, what is up with the frame rate right there? That's fucking yeah, yeah. hardcore. right behind us. Sorry. 
data science. I need to use my proper uh, title. For us, they know what we're doing. Control, this is Delta. We're stuck at an open drawbridge. We need to restore power to this sector. Please advise. Copy that, Delta. Stand by. I see downed electrical lines near your location. Follow the waterfront to Nassar Memorial Park and attempt to repair. Roger that. Dom, you're with me. Baird, Cole, you two guard the ATC. This is nuts. There's got to be another way. Baird. My squad, my call. Be ready to move as soon as the power comes back online. Whatever, boss man. Just like your old man back there. Yeah, yeah, well, screw my old man. He thought he could prevent this war, and look what happened. Yeah, well, now his mapping date is gonna help end it. Somehow, I don't think he'd appreciate the irony. God, guys, it's haunted. It's a haunted house. <coughs> Is this not loaded? Hell yeah, park. bro. Can Probably I get on that activity. hog? There's an alternate route, but you'll have to backtrack to the bridge. No time. There, you copy this? Don't we have a train to catch? 
Coordinate with control. Get to those lines. We'll clear the park and meet you there. We're on it. So satisfying kicking those doors. I didn't realize there was somebody behind me. It wouldn't switch my fucking weapon! I couldn't fucking do anything because I had the grenade in my hand. Alright. This time's for real. What? He's just like, nah, bitch, that didn't even hurt. I didn't even feel that shit. That tickled my balls.
So Tony Escar the Vive Dangerfin, what was so difficult with Microsoft continuing epic franchises like this? They didn't need to buy devs in the early 360 days. Well, technically they did buy devs, but they like, you know, rented them out basically. The problem is, is Microsoft hey! just has no idea what makes games fun. Yo, I truly up? just got to be close to those power. I mean, if you look at the type of games Phil Spencer likes, I aside from so. like Destiny, which ahead, yes is a good game, the park by that old theater. ironic because Move he was the head of Xbox First Party Studios when Bungie's pit we'll when Bungie originally lines. pitched Destiny, yeah. but anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway. But if you look at the types of games he likes, he likes the fucking, like, kids bop gaming bullshit. Like, he likes junk. Like, he was excited for that Ravenlock game. One of his most anticipated games was that fucking Benedict Fox Detective. Like, these dog shit, like, 2D platform type games. And then Planet of Lena or whatever the fuck. It's like some fucking story walking sim that's 2D. Like, he just likes dog sh Like, I mean, no offense to the guy, but he likes dog shit games, bro. He does not like Gears of War. It's too violent and gory and toxic for him. Like, he literally hates toxicity and is the head of Xbox. Like, Xbox was literally founded on toxicity. Like, it was the place that, like, fucking dude bros and, like, hardcore gamer types would go and play because it wasn't, like, super fucking family-friendly and shit, and you could get, like, a bunch of experiences that were, like, mature. And, you know, actually made for adults. Not a bunch of, like, kids bought, you know, garbage. It's just, he doesn't understand what Xbox is. I truly believe it. He goes like, we don't make games that appeal to like everyone, but it's like, yeah, no shit they don't appeal to everyone, but Gears of War was considered by almost everyone to be one of the best third person shooters of all time. Halo was considered to be one of the best first person shooters of all time. They appealed to everyone in that specific genre. So yes, they didn't appeal to everyone in the gaming industry, but in that particular genre, it sure as fuck did appeal to everyone. If you were looking for a third-person shooter, it didn't get better than Gears of War. You cannot say the same anymore. Bro, I'm gonna quit trying to snipe those fuckers. That was way quicker. Why didn't the reload queue pop up? What now? I fucking know I'm already in here, dumb bitch. Thank you. Comedy of errors. Delta, the train commander reports that locusts are heading their way. What's your status? Approaching power lines now. Be advised, the train is accelerating to avoid capture. Your timetable just got a whole lot shorter. Uh-oh. Dude, bro. It's back. Keep that thing away from the power lines. Oh shit, it's back. Watch this. Hey, stupid! Come and get me! <laughs> Get out of there! Go, 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 go! Are you totally insane? Just remember too, guys, Gears of War used to only have a two-year development cycle. Also keep that one in mind. 
that we're now on, I think, the longest development cycle Gears has ever had, and I highly doubt it's going to even come close to touching the original. What, it's been four, five years since the last Gears of War? I think four. Four years sounds right. Yeah, Phil would be a cool guy to, like, talk to, but I just, I don't really think he has an idea of what people want when it comes to video games. I don't think he's in good. touch with the gaming can still community, make it in time? honestly. We don't. We're gonna spend the rest and I'm not even saying that Jim Ryan like is this. either, but Jim Ryan has people around him that are in touch with the gaming community. Like, Sony has all the big third-party marketing games for all the games people So, like, even if Jim Ryan doesn't fucking know shit about video games, he surrounds himself with people that know the industry. Careful! 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 Bro, I get it. There's fire. It's bad. Phil should be the Marcus, head of Xbox and gone. Thank you very much. And we're headed back to the power line. Shit! <laughs> Damn it, man. Bro. Get the hell out of here! Bro. There's gotta be something. Really? They're gonna do that to me? Nothing? Bro, that was such a tease. That was such a tease, bro. That looks so suspicious, too. Over there! Zero four Alpha Tron with a two. I got six or six hundred bucks for being employee of the quarter. W. I'd say so, man. Six hundred bucks is a nice uh, little chunk of change. You can buy an Xbox, but no, that's pretty awesome, man. Congrats. Let's grab some ammo. Extra money Shit, is always. Shit, we got a grub awesome. hole. Keep them away from Jack. Where's the grub hole? Come on, get it. Here we go. I found a spot. Alright, come on. Spawn. I wish this was like Mass Effect and I could save. Like right before it pops up. How did we trigger it last time? Walk up the door. Are they like on to me? What the fuck? Is it glitched? What the fuck, man? Yeah. 
Dude, it 100% glitched out. Alright, let's see. I think we're good. Let's grab some ammo. Okay. Bro, why is it fucking glitched? What the fuck? Oh my god. Bruh. Okay. Bro, is this like, am I supposed to be back here? I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. Yeah, dude, it's completely glitched out. The game has broken. They're like, nah, you're gonna achievement hunt? Get fucked, nerd. You ain't doing that shit in our game. Yeah, this whole thing glitched. All right. Let me just exit the main menu and see if it works. Bro, that's bad. The whole game broke. Tony Esquire with the five Gears of War and Halo 3 were so raw. Gamers didn't petition for a class action lawsuit over 360 Red Ring of Death Contra. Yeah, well, I mean, they made it right pretty quick. They were pretty they good were about good. replacing consoles. Grab some ammo. So. Grab some Bro, I think it's just glitched. The fucking game broke. Gears machine broke. Alright, well, this is loaded in this time. So that's a good sign. That's actually there. Yeah, my cousin's uh, 360 red ranked, and he got a new one like after a week, so it was not a big deal. They were pretty quick to fix it. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to restart this mission, man. This thing completely bricked up. Nice. Ten-year-old game, still having issues. That's that coalition quality, boys. Uh. Very nice. That coalition quality, man. Dude, I gotta go all the way fucking back here. Damn. Delta, the train commander reports that locusts are heading their way. What's your status? Approaching power lines now. Yep, this was the, was the coalition's first game. Capture. Your timetable just got a whole lot shorter. At least I can skip the cutscenes this time. Wow, I didn't kill the two guys standing next to me? Normally it does. They 
really don't want to see them. Anymore. They're like, you're not getting this achievement, motherfucker. You want three kills with a grenade? You know? Fucking suck dicks in an Olive Garden bathroom. That's not me. Thanks for recommending Warhammer Bolton. Oh, yeah. Very fun. Marcus, I'm glad I'm Keith. Max it looks pretty cool. Thank you very much. And we're headed back to the power line. Well, skipping the cutscene saved me a lot of time, so. Not too bad. I don't even have any grenades this time. Fucking sad. I guess they really don't want me to do this achievement. Shit, we've got a grab hole! Keep them away from Jack. They really don't want me doing this achievement. Toes like crazy. Got one. I'm blowing my load all over his toes. I cover. This is Delta. To cover his We've toes. repaired the power lines, but there's a Brumac here. Please advise. Over. Anya, do you read? Must be a cedar. Good. Close. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna see like her. Her. Then we need to hustle. Bear, Cole, regroup with us behind this theater. <laughs> Hmm. There has to be a back door. Let's split up. We'll find it faster. Yeah, I want to go. I'll head upstairs. You check the main hall for a back door. Dom was very interested in my back door earlier. So... Who's next? I'm a cheater! No hammer of dawn. Shit. You gotta think of something else. 
drop that big thing on him. Good to go. out here Dom move that wall over oh god how long am I gonna have to sit here and wait should not fucking move it for him. But it impairs my progress. Yeah, Capcom's been on a good streak ever since uh, Monster Hunter World, in my opinion. Get over here! It's right there! <laughs> Bruh. Man, that thing has chased us everywhere. Okay, what now, boss? Control, this is Delta. Do you read? <laughs> Shit, still out. What is it? Okay, Exo the only way we can catch that train is with Anya's help. So re-establishing Comlink is our top priority. Let's find that cedar. Yes, yeah, so then we can see. Dude, 
Dude, I really wish Gears of War 3 was on PC. Like, I really want to replay through that campaign. This should, maybe I'll do that in my free time tomorrow. Although, I have to run a bunch of fucking things. So. between Anya or Miranda, I would pick Anya because I think Miranda can't have kids, right? That's a pretty big nice. eye in my book. Anya is Fuck! Did that miss? Oh, I wish I was using a fucking mouse right now because I could just pop his ass real quick. But I'm like cucked by the controller. Ugh. Nasty. Yeah, I think collect will save, even if he dies. <laughs> forget you get knocked out of shotgun, or not shotgun, fucking uh, chainsaw in this game. And Gears 3, you don't. Fuck. <laughs> this time's for the other I like how they go down waiting for you to execute them, but there's no actual executions in this game. Shit's kind of weak. Dude, I can't even hit his head. Like, his head is literally exposed and I can't hit it. What the fuck? That was uh, for real. That time was the real attempt. The other times were just practice. My favorite racial slur. Brown.
control. This is Delta. Come in, Anya. Come in, Anya. Our line of okay. care is complete. What's the status on that? Gaming. Throwing our guards onto the tracks. And according to grid power levels, your bridge is still inoperable. Options? You're close to Timgad Central Energy. You're fucked. If power can be restored, that will be the place to do it. Roger that. We're headed there now. Delta out. Let's move. Incoming flag! It's a good thing they had the R in that word because it's pride mode. So it could have either way. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Motherfucker! Let's do this. We already did it, bro. <clears throat> we already did that shit. Got it. few games that like when it's done right the campaign never feels like overly redundant or anything even though like what we're doing now and like most other games is really fucking obnoxious like, oh repair the bridge oh turn the power back on like it's really basic mission design but the gameplay in this game is just so fucking fun when you're fucking playing it no matter what you're doing. and it's so satisfying Prime example of a porn story video. Game. Shit. Where like you can literally have the worst fucking story in gaming, but it's a good excuse just to keep playing the game. Sweet. Oh, fuck. Dude, did it despawn my lancer? Fuck, dude, I was done. My fucking controller A button is squeaking from pressing it so much. That is weird. Corbulous with the two, yeah, Griffin, you finger that A button, that's right, man. Finger blast. You got to. It increases the damage. Bro, that is screaming damage. You can't. Let's do this. Oh, that's so unsatisfying. That piano is screaming, like fucking destroy me. But you can't. I'm out. Next. Dude, 
Dude, that is so dumb how their head literally sticks out over the turret and yet you can't damage it. Nice! <laughs> That should be we taunted. Just a boomer. Boomer. Oh shit! They fired both at the same time. Those fucking boomers. Cards are always hopping in front of my shots. That is disappointing. This just goes from bad to worse. This now this really this really sucks. Bro, I'm gonna get my ass control. Clapped. We're at Tim Gad Central Energy. When we get to Ram. Just moving in now. Wish us luck. Baird, Cole, take Jack and head right. Dom. I can already feel it, man. I can feel it. The clappage is gonna occur. This is not my night right now. <laughs> Fuck, I screwed up the reload again. Nice work, Dom. Don't you Fight waddle through the pain. fucking little ass over here. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck's going on with that? Yo, dude, he's just vibing out. He's hitting that fucking stroke, man. Oh, fuck. Of course Dom has to come and ruin it. Damn, bruh. He ruined it.
Now I wish I could play Gears 3 so I can watch his ass die, bro. Fuck him. Marcus, I was wrong. It wasn't the stranded tapping the grid, it was these guys. They're taking it underground. All of it. Tell me you can fix it. I'm working on it. Damn it, Jack, the other circuit. <sighs> but you'll need to turn off some panels up there. What are we looking for? Panels, you know, green glowing lights, valves. So screwed. something. I'm guessing there's an enemy still alive. Oh, wait. I gotta turn this. <sighs> oh, shit. Who's next? Get one more. I miss another one of them? are good, but we need to jump the transformer polarity. How do we do of that? Of course. We can't. We'll need a full set of tools, enough rated cable to connect two transform blocks, an interrupt to manage levels. What the hell? You mean we're stuck? Uh, yeah. 
Unless you can pull something out of your ass big enough to connect two transformers. A broom on. Uh, something big enough to fit between those things out front? I think I just solved our problem. Dom, think we can get the broom act to chase us? Hasn't been a problem up till now. Bear, open the back door for us. Ooh, that's right, Baird. It's a one-way trip to the back door. Shit. There it is. Now what? Now, we piss it off. What? Holy frame rate. Potato aim like a motherfucker. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Okay. He can look straight down. Shit. There it is. Now what? Of course, Dom goes down immediately. Oh yeah! Oh, those arm my guns. God. The potato and is kicking in. Bruh. Bro, he fucking. All right. That one was not all me. There we go. And I thought the food in prison smelled bad. Anya, bridge power's restored and we're moving out. Marcus, we've lost control of the train. Now you'll have to catch it as it passes through Timgad Station. <sighs> Roger that. Jump on a moving train and try to recapture a bomb. This day just keeps getting better and better.
Oh. standing right there like a complete worthless ass not doing anything shit alright that's a lot to fucking manage man I couldn't even see where the fucking sniper guy was <sighs> snipers up there Bro, what is up with my timing on reloading the snipers today? This shit's rough. I'm definitely not a peak performance. I literally hit him. Look at that. I'm like aiming at him. There we go. Let me go. Nice. Drag out. top. No nades. You're right on Raven. Sorry, guys. It's okay. Anya, what are we looking at? Okay, uh, the bomb is at the front of the train, and there are plenty of locusts on board. You've got to get going now. Let's move out. Here we go, guys. The final stretch. Nice! Why the fuck would it give me that prompt? Is it trying to get me killed? Not 
Gem Assist on the radar. That's not good. Move in! Damn it. Jack, open this door. Great. Now what? Are you kidding me? Berserker! Oh, fuck. <sighs> I forgot about this. Anya, we're using the Hammer of Dawn right now. Negative, Delta, you can't. Not with all those nemesis thinking the sky. Fine, we'll go to Plan B. We got Plan B. What? Hell no. Shit. Got what you do. My God, dude, what the fuck was that shit? Phoenix, Hoffman's picked us up. We're on our way. Oh, there's a Permanent. collector. My chainsaw not go. Oh, AIDS. All right. Phoenix, Hoffman's picked us up. We're on our way. Permanent. Here they come. I'm up. There, Beaver. They're coming.
Phoenix. Damn. Hoffman's picked us up. Bro, are way. you fucking kidding? I have to go all the way back here. Jesus Christ, man. Down in front. Get the fuck out of my way. He's gonna go down. Look, he's so fucking worthless, man. Going to kill himself. Like, sorry, Keep my on. life isn't around. It's like, fuck. He's gonna kind of kill himself. I'm gonna get rid of this guy right now. Good fucking riddance. Shit, retard. There's a ladder. I'm on it. Watch our back. That's the ugliest damn thing I've ever seen. Oh. We need to get to that bomb. Cars ahead. Let's talk. Hurry before they cut you loose. Let's move. Yeah, get off the fucking bomb. Sure. Yeah. Not 
not supposed to go this way? Guess not. What? Oh my fucking splash damage. Fuck. AIDS. Anya, what the hell is happening? Dog, he's Richards. calling. Oh my god. Why can't they put the checkpoint after the phone? Sorry before they cut you loose. Get off the phone, dude. That's we gotta hurry. <laughs> Dude, is he like actually mentally retarded? Like he could literally just one tap melee that enemy and he's like sitting there like letting it eat its asshole. Damn Jack, open this door. Seconds. Get we'll off the phone. The Whoa, yeah, baby. Oh, you only Come got on, a few man. more seconds. Take him out. Your house, baby. Your house. Give it a What the fuck? I'm gonna get my ass clapped. Argus, you gotta drop that data right now! 
<laughs> I'm gonna get Still fucking clapped. Oh yeah, I do. Right here. All right, man. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna get my ass fucking spanked real quick. Dude, this boss fight is fucking AIDS. Reavers! I don't really remember how it works, to be completely honest. Okay. And um. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm very confused. Like he's glitched. Can't they flash the light on him? There's another. Yeah, I'm guessing I gotta go pick up a weapon. Great boss design, guys. Well, if I need a torch, though, why isn't there one around here? Fucking Torfo, then, if I need one. There we go.
What the fuck? Oh my god. Alright, I'm about to look this shit up. I don't remember how to fucking beat this shit. There's gotta be like some cheese method or some shit. I just remember this being eight. Let's do this. Reavers! I have an idea. I'm not gonna use. I'm gonna combine my two previous strats. Alright, where the fuck is that? Fuck, I forgot last time he got stuck, so I probably can't get on the fucking turret. Probably cannot get on the turret. Uh, this boss fight is so fucking cheese, man. I don't really understand why they thought this was a good idea for a boss fight like, years ago. But hey, they each their own. I guess you just gotta get lucky and hope Dom can keep him distracted long enough so he doesn't push up on him. That's the strat, I guess. Yeah, game crap. Well, I think it counts as a completion right now, anyway. It doesn't matter. I think the game's already done. Yep, I already completed the game. It says, uh, 
classic mercenary completed all acts on normal. Dude, I got like 600 gamers in this game. That's pretty fucking respectable. Coalition, why are all your other games so fucking stingy? That was a really fucking sick uh, boss fight for Gears 3, though. When you're having to hammer of Dawn her ass off the side of that building, that shit was really cool. Lead designer, Cliff Blazinski. There you go, man. I get paid for this. Sweet. Much love to family and Chantal. They need to bring him back, man. So, which tags did I miss? Oh, wow, I missed a bunch. Damn, son. I thought I was doing good. I thought I was doing good, but nope. I missed a fuck ton of those. Damn, man. I missed a shit ton. I thought I was, like, doing a good job checking all the environments, but I guess, like, everything was underneath, like, uh, you know, those destructible items that I wasn't completely destroying all the time. I think Cliff is bringing back, uh, Lawbreakers, which would be funny as fuck, man. That shit would be cool. Oh, my God. See, that's how you make an actual Gears campaign, man. It's fun from start to end until you get to General Rom, but, you know, we can overlook that. 99% of the game is great. Alright, so... Exit out of the game... Uh, gamers. Yeah, I'm just curious. What's my gamer score at right now? Ooh, nice, man. 93,535 gamer score. Holy shit, man. Let's go. That multiplayer is probably dead as fuck, Brett, unfortunately. I played it when the uh, Ultimate Edition came out on console, though. I played the multiplayer, and it was quite good, actually. I love Gears multiplayer. It just needs to be populated, because I don't want to play with a bunch of fucking super swats, which is what it turns into, unfortunately. All right, man. So, if we got one recommended video. Uh, 
I didn't realize that when Fresh of The end? What the fuck is this, you generation? I'm not even familiar with this shit. I didn't realize that when Fresh Fit put out that live stream and said they were going to nuke our channel, they just ended up nuking their own. I don't know why Myron did this, but he decided to go on. The fuck? Sneeko's live stream on Rumble. Let's see if, let's see if Pearl's still up. You have to wear that too. Yeah, of course. How am I going to break this down if I'm not in my proper attire as a race? Bro. All right, can you move over a little bit? Okay, I'm moving you over. Fucking change. You see out of that, you fucking sand neck. But it's okay. White supremacist sand neck. Shut up. Bruh. But bro, you're the worst of the worst. You eat dogs and you kill people as a black guy. In Asia. Yeah, true. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, 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 pause right. This nigga here is funny. He's funny, this nigga. Yeah, I don't condone this N-word. Oh. Shut up, you Albanian fat. <laughs> keep running the clip, you train. <laughs> no, keep running the clip. Who's, that? Who's that weird nigga that can't speak? Who's that? He black as hell. Vati man. Yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> I'm very confused at what the fuck is going on. I have no fucking idea, guys. I know that Mad respect to minorities. What the fuck? Stop! I want to get another run. There right now. He punched there probably swinging around eating some bananas. Fucking stupid bitch. Preach is crying right now, swinging from a monkey ranch, Bro. eating a banana, playing some Donkey Kong on an N64 because he's a stupid prick. He's a window licking stupid nigga. What? What? Fat ugly white. Hey. Oh, over oh, that that nigga spin. What the <laughs> fuck? I don't like that. This video that we got we these niggas. Dude, I have no fucking idea what's going on, man. What? Don't do that. I will find you, you fucking stinky looking piece of shit. You go fucking fat right here. I don't like you already. I, I don't know how you guys did it, but you guys made a more embarrassing response than H3H3 by like a long mile. Never ever compare that Myron dude to them fucking Jews, you motherfucker. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this a character? Th this, this is, this is not I was representative. born this way, you chick. Keep going, Jake. No, I don't think they do. So you damn right there, high value man. They say more lies than your monkey asses have. What the fuck you niggas doing? Y'all sitting there in an entire ass room. I'm sitting next to a fucking monkey with dreads for a decade. You niggas to do now, but see, ooh, you same shitty fucking camera for a damn decade. Same shitty road mic right there that looks like a penis forever. You guys have not. I have you zero fucking, fucking clue business. what's going on. Business. Get called out by a fucking. Race. KKK member out of Tennessee. This shit just seems like fucking straight autism, bro. Like, it's a sad attempt to, like, be edgy, but it's just really fucking corny. I don't know, bro. You motherfuckers are losers. I'm roasting Like, is this the fucking based and red pill community? Like, bro. Right now. Continue on, Ching. Yes. Okay. Many that nigga. Now, like he got a 39 IQ. This is Holy red pilled shit. humor. I don't know how it just sounds like retards. Seriously, like this is fucking stupid. Say Albanian yesterday. I said about yeah, this is literally like the definition of I just learned how to use slurs on fucking Call of Duty. That's what this fucking sounds like, bro. This is like something you would expect like a 12 year old to say to try and be funny. What the fuck up, you fucking <laughs> you stupid. Nigga. Not showing the women that y'all are with not one time. Last time I checked that Myron got like three or four girlfriends, okay? And they're friends with each other. Or they would hurt our fan base. But if you're secure in who you are... No, your fan base is a bunch of low IQ feminist that can't take it when you get fit. What does he do? He actually gets fresh and most importantly, fit. That fresh fit nigga helping everybody get in a goddamn shape. This guy is totally unhinged. What do you mean? Oh, what do you go. mean I'm unhinged? You told me the N-word. Watch. You are unhinged. Okay, yeah, we do like 10 sets of burn, uh, cross burnings. And, uh, and here's the thing. I'm going to continue to roast them. They're going to sit there and say, I'm okay, let's fucking go. 10 toes down. I will roast you motherfuckers until the end. You fucking homos got nothing else. Yeah, I think I caught a little. That was a little hardcore. This is a little hardcore even for me. I'm glad you didn't show up in a, in a white hood, Nick. That would have optics, you know? I was going to do the MAGA hat, but it just it wouldn't go as hard as the white hood, so... Nick, your followers are going to Myron now. You got competition. 
That's true. Both of you guys, both of you guys are, it's like, I'm being outdone. I thought I went pretty hard in November, got, and it's like... Myron leading the dissident right now. Uh, yeah, it's a couple... I mean, it's not surprising that they hang out with Catboy, Femboy fan, you know, but... <laughs> Motherfuckers. This shit is so fucking corny. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> I have no fucking idea what's even happening in this shit. Let's see. So, Joey with the 10, did you see Synthetic Man's hour-long schizo post about the new Legend of Zelda game? I saw he uploaded it, but I didn't watch it. Dude claims the game has satanic imagery and his grooming kids comment section is roasting him on his takes. I mean, that's nothing new, bro. Synthetic Man, I don't think gives a fuck. He gets roasted all the time by people. I don't really think it bothers them. I haven't seen it though, so no, I have no idea. A couple of the Albanian and a black guy <laughs> gonna out. Yeah, those are show how things have changed because I remember when Dave Chappelle did the Clayton Bisbee, Bigsby shit back in the day. It was what was the uh, satanic did. imagery in Zelda? I'm kind of curious. That shit, they're like, oh my god, just goes to show how pussified we've become. After I looking at that Donkey Kong photo, I can conclude that he's also a monkey. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Like, bro, I, I'm, like, I'm ready to end them. Like, they want to go here and say, you're Myron. Cool. Cool. The fucking Arab guy that's also black that literally, like, I hit so many different check marks for the KKK. Y'all want to call me? Cool, you fucking. If you're wondering who the white dude in the top left is, that's a white supremacist. Nick Fuentes was a leader of a far A gay cat boy, too. All right, movement. Who likes to go cum hunting in his free time. And uh, just pearly things. <laughs> I will say. Just probably thinks orange does look good on you. I'm glad you took Britney's advice. I do think it's funny that the only time you decide to groom yourself is for a clan meeting. But hey, if that's the kind of high value man you want to attract, go girlfriend. Now let's fucking do it. Hey guys, when we speak, everyone raise no, your hand. No, raise no, your no, hand. No, no, no. Raise no. your hand. No, 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 no. So no, we no. take turns. No, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> I heard that some of y'all were raising the salute, so I decided to come back. Let's go. <laughs> Poor Sneeko. For all rolls out. Oh, come on. No! We're down. No, 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 <laughs> Let's go. No, no, no. Let's go. We're down Let's for do what it. happened. Let's do it. <laughs> do, you, do you realize how dumb everyone has to be? That when you're in a room full of people, that somehow just pearly thing seems to be the smartest person. You see her sliding off screen like, what the fuck am I associating myself with? Yeah, this is like a literal fucking retard convent. Like, I, don't, I really don't know what the fuck is even happening other than a bunch of like dorks on the internet trying to act like they're fucking tough. <laughs> Y'all know how dumb you have to be to make pearls sound smart. Yeah, I mean, hey, listen, if you want to throw away your YouTube channel in the dumbest way possible, cool. You just cost yourself and your staff millions of dollars over one of the dumbest things I've ever seen possible. And also just notice all of this rolls off Myra's tongue so easily. This is yeah, they're never going to get a fucking sponsorship or anything, bro. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. That was dumb as fuck. Because don't they have, like, a decent size like, podcast, Fresh and Fit or whatever? What a bunch of fucking retards. Not the first time he's talked about this, about black people like this. It's not surprising to me. I'm honestly, when he started speaking about black women in the past, I'd always suspected he had some negative emotions or feelings about black people. What about the black dating app called Black? <laughs> oh, I, I, it's funny, I never used that one, bro, but oh, hey, man. man. <laughs> I mean, hey, bro, if you want to date a bunch of Shaniquas, go for it, man. LaQuisha. Uh, yeah, like, uh, I, me and Fresh aren't really down with the brown nah, like that. Man. We ain't night Riders. Nah, so bro, I'm good. Uh, you know, sometimes if they're, you know, red bone, but like in general, me and fresh, uh, don't dabble in the dark. If you know what I'm saying. Yep. Um, okay. And this just reinforced it. It's just like, I'm not even upset. I'm just like, Oh yeah. At first it starts with making, you know, talk shit about black women specifically and constantly putting them down. And you know, sometimes there's valid criticism about black culture that I'll entertain, but then the frequency and the vitriol that comes out when they speak about it, you start to feel like there's something else going on underneath it all. And then when it comes to people like Myron, even though you can never point to it directly, because it's rare that it's this overt. So you can't really point it out, right? Everyone tells you, no, it's not there, it's not there. Even though you have a feeling, you know what I'm saying? You have no 
but now you have it in full in front of you. This guy is considered the leader of the red pill, and you're seeing how this disseminates to a lot of his followers. That kind of hatred that he has for black people is instilled in a lot of the things that he actually preaches. You can't tell because it's not overt, but it's in the undertones if you understand what's really going on. That's why when I saw the previous one, even though a lot of people said, no, it's not, it's not racist, it's not, it's not, it's like, do you really think that? I know it is. I know what he means when he says the warrior gene. I know what he means when he says monkey. I know why he's using it specifically for a black individual. But plausible deniability gives everyone the ability to be like, no, that's not what he meant. That's not what he meant. But with this stream, you just see it. everything that I believed and pretty much knew is confirmed. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you want to shoot your credibility, if you want to destroy your movement, if you want to make the red pill look like a movement for losers uh, that hate women and also hate minorities and value... Dude, the red pill movement on fucking YouTube is for losers. Bro, if you're taking advice on how to be a quote-unquote real man from motherfuckers who are terminally online in any fucking capacity you are doing something wrong because a fucking real man is not going to waste his time on fucking social media talking about how wonderful he is I will never understand this whole fucking like red pill shit dog it is so cringe Nine times out of ten, these motherfuckers turn out to be either degenerates or complete fucking grifters. It's just dumb. Whiteness for some reason, you know, it's in your dating preferences, it's in your language, it's in the way that you insult people. That's okay, have your movement. But when people discredit it and laugh at it, you're going to be one of the principal reasons why with your behavior. Instead of holding frame, instead of being stoic the way you present in the red pill and handling your stuff well, you get poked and prodded and all of a sudden you unleash this? The reason why this came out is because deep down inside, that's the shit that you feel. That's the stuff that you really believe. That's how you really define a high value man, Griffin. Um, a guy who has a lot of fucking money. Because what do you mean by value? <laughs> like somebody who's worth a lot? Yeah, I mean you'd got to have a lot of money, right? You feel about black people. And now everyone else knows. Um, so, you know, if you're proud of this, congratulations, brother. You played yourself. I don't think there's much to be said. I wouldn't be surprised if the YouTube channel gets deleted. As far as them talking about hanging us or monkeys this or whatever it is, cool. Bruh. That shit was dumb as fuck. Let's see, so you generation of the two, their last video has more context. You spelled there wrong, and I don't really know if I want more context. That shit was so fucking stupid. And then when fucking Nick, the fucking cat boy Fuentes, shows up, like, bruh. Nothing's gonna be fucking good from that shit. Glory of Milfgard with the five. Cliffy B said, if Gears 6 exists, Marcus needs to die. Bruh. Yeah, because, bro, the way they've butchered that franchise, they might as well fucking kill him. I kind of agree. Wash his hands of that dog shit franchise. I actually kind of agree with that. I, Siler, we will watch your video now. Let me pull it up on here. And go. I didn't realize that when Fresh and Fit put out that. What the fuck? That is not what I fucking copied. Get away from me. Whatever the fuck this video is. I didn't realize that. Bro, what the fuck? I'm literally copying this fucking video. Copy. Paste. I didn't realize that. I'm guessing my fucking Chrome tab is glitched. What the fuck, dude? All right, let me reopen the tab. What the fuck? Paste and go. All right, now it's working. I don't fucking know. YouTube is bugging, bro.
just wanted to lick you. I think Griffin is low key. Tradcon is doesn't care for it, huh? I have no idea what the fuck that means. Does that mean I'm normal? That shit took a fucking second for me to realize. Damn, man. Crunch. Ooh, fuck, dude. Ooh. There goes Julian. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh. What a dumbass. Oh, I've seen this happen before. This happened at my uh, grandmother's house. The sidewalk got ripped up by a tree falling. <laughs> oh shit, man. Oh, what the fuck? Mama Duck is off. Bro. Oh, oh fuck. Hey, you didn't let go though. Oh. Ooh. Bro. Ooh. That's got to fucking suck. <laughs> He definitely skinned his fucking head. Hey, bro, you don't work here. What the? <laughs> f hey, why did you put it that close? <laughs> so you gonna walk away after you done started this? Oh god. <laughs> oh, what a dumb bitch, man. You already know. What did she fucking think was going to happen? Oh, my God.
Oh my god, what a dumbass. <laughs> Bro, these monkeys be fucking wild and like for real. Like they're all you always see like videos of these like small little monkeys doing crazy shit. I don't know what fucking country they're from, but it's like I would not want to live there cuz like those things are always fucking obnoxious. Like the ones that steal your shit when you're walking on the road and like Bruh, I'd like carry a fucking Glock and just start popping them. Yeah, monkeys are very intelligent. Yeah, my dog would do some dumb shit. Oh, fuck. Bruh. Um, so I graduate literally in two days and just realized they spelled dramatic arts wrong on my side. <laughs> on my side. Stop, it's the first John major. Yeah, well, it's not a real degree anyway, so I don't know why you care. Yeah, raccoons are nasty, bro. What the fuck? Flower? Either that or somebody got into Pablo's stash. Uh-oh, maybe. I have no idea what language that was, but... I right, Siler with the 10? We'll check it out, man. Copy... Hopefully it doesn't put that stupid fucking fresh and fit video again. I'm passionate about animals. I love them and they love me. Is that a monkey? Bro, what the fuck is up with the where what country are these fucking little monkeys from? I want to personally go there and beat the shit out of them. Like these things are fucking crazy, man. Hell yeah. Oh shit. Southeast Asia. Those things are so, like, everywhere you see, like, on the internet, they're just always doing some shit. What the fuck? Why is she that afraid of a fucking rat? Oh, shit.
man. Just kick it. Just like kick the shit out of the rat. Do you hear that? Man, that was coming from upstairs. That was coming from upstairs. Let's go see. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. It came from upstairs. It's up the stairs. Shit, guys. Shit, shit. Because I want to get this shit on video. I want to get this shit on video, man. Colin. Did you did you watch the asylum? They filmed that same exact thing up here. things are nasty geese those fuckers are vicious i had a goose attack me once and i grabbed it by the fucking neck and like swung it and then it flew like it kind of like well not really flew off but like fluttered off but yeah those things are fucking mean bro but yeah i grabbed it by the neck and like just kind of like swung it and um it kind of just Fucking fluttered off, bro. It went away. The squirrel turned it on. That's the thing is like, especially with small animals like that, just stand up to it. Like, you'll be all right. You can take a goose. Maybe if you're not like a, maybe if you're not like a fucking six year old, then yeah, you could. But. It reminds me though this one like I went to this one park um at my grandma's like I guess near my grandma's house not at my grandma's house but anyway um and there was like this Asian man who was like walking very strangely around like the playground portion near like this little lake there was like this big walking trail and like all the geese would hang out by like the playground because the kids would feed them and shit but there was like this weird Asian guy that was just kind of like hanging around the playground. And like eventually <laughs> we realized that he was trying to catch a fucking goose to eat. Because he literally like every time you would turn away, he would walk closer towards the geese. And like if you looked back, he would like put his hands behind his back acting like he wouldn't do anything. And eventually he grabbed one and like had this fucking like burlap sack through the fucking goose in the sack, like tied it up and just ran to his car. So, <laughs> yeah, that was like one of the most weird fucking things I've ever seen in my life. It was like this little Asian guy, like probably like 50s, 60s, and he like had this bag on him. And he caught a goose. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? That noise.
understand what it is with people freaking out over small animals. It's like, bro, it's not going to hurt you. It's a fucking little ass animal. He's not going to do shit. I don't know, bro. Like small fucking animals. Like rodents. Just stomp on them. I don't know, man. I wanted to show you all this, though. I saw this pop up on my fucking homepage. This shit's fucking sad, bro. Today we're gonna kick things off. Is it still there? Yeah, here it is. This shit's fucking sad, bro. <laughs> this is so fucking sad. Oh my god. Listen to this shit, guys. So... Bruh, alright, I'm gonna read this and try to keep a fucking uh, straight face. To the people still harassing me about my divorce, know this. I didn't want to file for divorce. It crushed my soul, and I've never cried so hard in my entire life. You can say whatever you want about me, but don't ever say our relationship was abusive. It wasn't. It was beautiful. We worked harder than anyone else from nothing to where we are today. We were best friends and perfect lovers. It was us against the world back then. What's happening now is truly wrong and makes me sick to my stomach every day. God gave us a gift and it's being crapped on. And yeah, sure, nothing lasts forever. But I was kind of hoping we'd be the first ones to change <laughs> Instead, we ended up making that letter about divorce we laughed at right. I don't know why you guys need to harass 24-7 me about my ex-wife, about how my ex-wife is betraying me on Discord. I get it, okay? She caught the quits. She forgot what really mattered and turned to the enemy instead of family. I can be the bad guy to you strangers. Because you weren't here with us. Now, look, we got this, like, random fucking selfie. We got, congratulations, you're getting married, hopefully, for the rest of your life. It may surprise you to learn that the state of Florida has, in, has an interest in your marriage, not in the number of bridesmaids or the flavor of the cake or even the color of the flowers, but in whether the marriage is long-lasting and happy. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. And then he, like, posts this random fucking picture of, like, a half-empty bedroom where it says, I love you on the wall, like... Bruh. Okay. And then there's this, which if you have the full picture, it's like him and his wife's fucking toes crossed with like, it's the most random shit ever. Like he literally posted a fucking feet pic of him and his wife's fucking foot. And then there's this, I guess his uh, wedding ring. This is his wedding ring, I guess. Like it's just... <laughs> Remember how he was like, uh, you know, trying to claim like, oh, whatever, it's not a big deal, blah, blah, blah. like, you know, now all of a sudden he's pleading for sympathy. I mean, this is just like, oh my God. Today, it's just sad. It really is. Look at this. Ignore this upload. What is this shit? This man is the CEO of like not oh, being God. able to accept a verdict. So. First of all, this is just anonymous and review tech kind of going back and forth with each other and kind of like having a conversation. There isn't any statement from anyone else. This is anonymous. As oh, he'll get likes on his post, man, because there's a lot of angry men out there that no matter who it is, you know, they feel slighted by women. So they'll always side with a guy in divorce, no matter what the circumstances are, or who the person is involved, because, you know. 
women moment, right? But anyway, yeah, it's just, it's like, you know, there's those, like, bitter-ass women out there who will never fucking take a man's side in, like, a divorce either. It's just, it's how it is, man. It's the fucking internet. You got fucking brain-dead idiots on both sides. High tier mortal with the two, the SpongeBob AI stream is so fascinating to watch. What is it just like a bunch of episodes they make with AI or some shit like that? His YouTube channel and a community post from Anonymous where he's quoting something, but we can quote whatever we want. I can literally quote a movie and say, oh, this is some person's words. That That's not at all remotely close to somebody coming forward. Okay, that's the first thing you need to understand about this. The second thing is that this is not going to be a Netflix special, okay? The way you people are acting so dramatic about it, it's not big It's not big news. The Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial was like the most prolific case, and look at it now. Nobody cares. I don't know why it's so important for a guy who's supposed to be reviewing tech in the USA to constantly talk about a relationship that has nothing to do with him, but here we are. So let's just kind of address the elephant in the room. You got your verdict. You dug around to find your answers. You have your answers. Either accept your answers or don't. I'm not in control of people who make those verdicts or those decisions the same way you aren't. All you can do is accept the verdict before you, grab your belongings in the room, and just make exit left. That's all you can do because you can't change the outcome of what has been decided from an authority, okay? I'm not going to play authority, and you can play authority all you want, but I'm not going to do that, right? The same way I wasn't with the... Bruh, if it was against him, though, he would 100% be like, oh, I don't, it's bullshit. There's a long history of racism and sexism in the court system. Like, you already fucking know. If it went the other way, he would be 100% questioning authority at every opportunity. YouTube debacle, right? You guys thought a certain thing. You brought it to YouTube. They investigated it multiple times. You failed. Again, you can bring it back to them. You can do whatever you want. But again... I'm not in charge of that, so you don't have to accept how YouTube perceived that situation or what the determination was, no more than you do this one, right? Now, I do think it's a bit odd that, like, in saying that, like, Quantum's wife's coming forward, you actually don't ever show her coming forward. You just show Anonymous posting something in a community tab. And it's in the weirdest language of all. No, they put me as uncooperative because of the phone number goof. Ah, gosh, darn it. Boy, we just lost the case, boys. The phone number goof did it. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. That's how, like, outlandishly wild what you're saying is. But again, it's all about creating a narrative of not liking me to your mob. I get it. So wait. Hold on. So his wife comes forward, but they didn't actually get something from his wife? Hold on. I'm confused. Maybe we should watch Rich's video after this. I got it. Cool. Make your money, dude. But you know what? This axe that you have to grind, I do think is pretty unwarranted considering it was your own behavior that got you called the name that you're so hurt over. Your poor fewings. Okay, let's let's really revisit it, okay? Rich, what let's name? let's revisit it. You're upset because you supported Vosh, a grown ass man who <laughs> oh, said shit, he wants the stuff. legal age for consent in, in sexual relationships with minors to be lowered. And the same breath also saying to be ethically consistent with slave labor happening around the world, we need to also endorse CP. You got called a corresponding name of a man who identifies with a guy like that, who endorses a guy like that. No, it's no. Yeah, I think that's bullshit. I don't think Rich is a pedo because he watches fucking Vosh. I think he's fucking dumb for watching Vosh but that doesn't make you a fucking pet that's like saying if you watch an EDP video you're a fucking pedophile that's dumb as fucking shit man that's a stupid fucking false equivalency that's like saying if you watch Gordon Flowers bust a pedophile then you're also a fucking pedophile because you're watching a video with one in it like that's really fucking stupid like, Vosh is a fucking smooth-brained retard, but it's like... And Rich is dumb as fuck for watching Vosh of his own free will, but this doesn't make him a fucking pedophile. Or make it so he agrees with everything fucking Vosh has to say. No different than if you were in Jared Fogel's circle when he was doing all his crap. Like, you'd get called a certain name then, too, okay? The same way what? if you were on Epstein Island enjoying what was going on.
is he really comparing watching a fucking YouTuber to being on Epstein's island? Bruh. Come on, my guy. There, you'd get called a- Could you imagine, like, I can see why his wife wants a divorce. Could you imagine being in an argument with this guy? Like, say you forgot to fucking flush the toilet or some shit. Like, he would literally relate that to, like, literally leaving the gas on in a fucking preschool exploding when all the kids are in the building. It's like, this dude is so fucking insane. He escalates the smallest fucking scenario to, like, the biggest fucking deal possible. It's really fucking sad. A certain name, okay? Don't look at me and then get all angry and red-faced because I'm not that kind of guy. Dude, you associated with that. If that's not you, then distance yourself from it. That's like that's like the Balenciaga thing. Don't double down, right? You, like, I don't understand your position on this. You, you, you want to affiliate with the wrong things and then be like, oh, that's not me. Like, you need to see yourself, bro. You really do. And again, you could be angry. But again, I'll stand by this comment as well. If you really believe... The things that Vosh was saying enough to the point of endorsing him like you did, having children as a father, right? I really think CPS needs to investigate you because that says a lot. He wants the age, the legal age of consent for minors to be lowered. You and Didn't Rich literally say he wants the age of consent to be 21? Which is fucking stupid, by the way. So, this is so fucking dumb, man. Bro, Quantum needs to go focus on his real fucking life because he's got some fucking issues, bro. Endorse that man. And you have kids. Like, I don't give a fuck if he sits here on the internet and fucking self-destructs till the end of time. Like, fuck him. But, you know, the dude really needs to get the fuck off the computer. Your house. I don't care if you don't like how that sounds or, oh, how, how dare you cross that line? Bitch, please. You said how you said and felt how you felt. I'm not going to sit here and play games with a grown-ass man who doesn't like being seen. I don't care, bro. You crossed that line, not me. I didn't make you say that. I didn't... Nah, therapy is a waste of time, bro. Therapy is not going to do anything for him. Like, well, therapy only works for people who really have zero fucking willpower of their own to fix their own problems. Quantum TV has too much willpower that he literally refuses to accept anyone else's fucking reality other than his own. So it would literally just be like paying for him to go and argue with someone. It'd be a complete waste of time. Put you there. You put you there. Okay? So at the end of the day, bro, you can go digging in my personal life and throwing mud all left and right, but let me tell you a couple things that haven't changed. My channel is still up. My channel is still monetized. I still have sponsors and collaborations with people right you do i still got members i'm still hanging out with them we're talking we're, we're working as a community we're still talking tech i'm still reviewing products and maybe you can learn a thing or two right i hear you're on your road to 1000 that's a real good goal hopefully one day you meet it bud but at the end of the day this dr phil stuff i don't know man it doesn't really seem to be uh doesn't really seem to be where it's at now I guess therapy session for you is over and, and explaining that, like, again, being the CEO of not being able to accept a verdict is just pathetic. Like, you can go back to, like, it's so funny. Like, you saw something present date. You didn't like what you saw, and you ran back into the past. And it's it's so funny because, like, in the same breath, you guys are like, but she put a two-year restraining order out on him. That doesn't happen for no reason. You're right. Absolutely, it doesn't happen for no reason. I was Baker acted. I already told you about that. Yes. It happened. It was unfortunate. I, I mean, that, that, that's kind of, that's a concern for some people, right? They use the fact that some agencies were concerned, right, as a part of the reason to establish some sort of fear for her, right? That's, that's, that's how it worked. Do I agree? Absolutely the fuck not. Do I wish I had more of a chance to speak? Absolutely, because if I did, it probably would have gone different. Because at the end of the day, she's not, she's not what she's saying she is. Now, there'll, there'll, there'll be other moments in life where she's going to have to decide if she wants to be honest about things or if she wants to keep lying about things that's her business Bruh. right but i think at this, this point dude's fucking she's being crazy, scornful man. she wants to be scornful and you guys want to capitalize on it
I think the correct thing to do if you really are worried about her, and I and I mean this from a place of like, act- dude, why would you think she wants anything to fucking do with you if she's divorcing you? Actual, actual care, believe it or not. If you're really worried about her and you care about her safety and her well being, start a GoFundMe page, put some money in her pocket, bro. Like, really set her up, right? Hook her up. You got the influence. Put her on, bro. Because that's the only thing I can see. If you're really that concerned and you care so much about her that you should do for her, give her money. Help her out, right? That's the right thing to give do. Give me money! Capitalizing off of her, using her as some sort of cash cow, Quantum TV's wife comes forward. How much of the money is she getting off of this title? You care so much. See, the difference when somebody actually cares, like, I actually care, right? I, I will give helpful suggestions that actually benefit somebody if I care about them. <laughs> All you're doing is taking and taking and taking and taking. That's right, uh, man. From Quantum TV's infinite fucking uh, well of wisdom and experience, he can uh, help reshape your life for the better. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's get her in the Discord. Oh, yeah. Let's let's put her a statement. Out. Oh, yeah. Let's get her. Okay, so you tar and feather me, but you give her nothing. That doesn't that doesn't do anything, right? And at Bro, the end of the day, it really kind of doesn't do anything sad. anyway because most of my guys don't really care about this kind of shit. We just we want tech reviews. And again, I'll be reviewing the AADL and the QM8 and a bunch of other stuff. So, like, you're not really accomplishing your goal here, bud. Your goal was to rip me off of YouTube, and that's not happening. So suck it up. Accept your L. Move on with your life. That's the message, boys. Take it or leave it. All right, now I'm curious to see what is Rich's video on him. Today we're going to kick things off. Is this it? At 41 years old, I don't always like talking about drama, but when I do, it's about quantum TV. Skip it up and that up. So as we know, in mid-April, Quantum, I'm getting this right from the police report, so don't say that I'm misconstruing or lying anything due to Elden Ring. He's still blaming Elden Ring indirectly for all this, too. He's mentioned it multiple times. He, he thinks that I'm talking about this because... Why is my ringer not off? He genuinely thinks that we get joy talking about this because of his... Bad, factually wrong take in Elden Ring. For example, you said you lose all your items every time you die. No, Quantum. And again, I know I've said this, but some people may be new to this story. At the time of me first talking about Quantum TV, you want to know how many hours I had in Elden Ring? Zero. Like a, a goose egg, as a matter of fact. Pretend this bird's butthole is zero. I didn't play any Elden Ring at that time, Quantum. I don't care. I wouldn't put out misinformation about somebody because they didn't like a video game. Well, here is the police report here. Um, this is all public information. This is, I'm not putting out any personal information. Um, at the bottom here, arrest details, first degree felony, obstructing justice, hinder with communications info and it says domestic violence your bond was set at 500 um obstructing justice to hinder so there it is domestic violence i saw there with the five we'll check it out man appreciate it violence lacerations on her hands don't blank the messenger i don't even know if i could say what time this will be in the video first 30 seconds you have to be g-rated on youtube now that's fun so anyway there it is now, recently, Quantum, which I downloaded the video, I won't show it to you, though, because Why? I know he's out of his mind. He put up what, in his mind, is evidence that him and his wife had a very happy relationship, and he's described her as evil. I have the video, Quantum. You can't say that you didn't say certain things. and um, That he made it, essentially, he made it like he always does, that he's the victim, and she's the aggressor, and that you know he was doing everything right and their relationship was great until magically the last moment i'm paraphrasing a decent amount but that's the context of it again if the video is still on his channel go check it out if it's not i'm not going to show it to you here because i know how he is 
okay? All I could say is, this is the same man that said he couldn't be homophobic because he's vegan. Because... Bro, that shit was fucking weak. I can't be homophobic because I'm a vegan and all of them are gay. Yet, he claims to be straight. Everyone in the vegan community apparently is gay. So that... It is a pretty accurate statement, though. That would mean, <laughs> Quantum, that you are, well, by your own logic. But anyway, let's continue. Well, Anonymous, his former Discord mod, who he got mad at because he put up a picture of Elden Ring to show HDR on a television, he demoted him. He demoted his, his mod ship because of that, and that just shows you how insane this man is. Quantum's wife uh, went to Anonymous and wanted him to put out a statement about this, okay? Setting the record straight from the source herself, the reason the charges were dropped by the district attorney against Jermel for obstruction was because of uncooperative status. However, this is what his ex-wife told me really went down. No, they put me as uncooperative because of the phone number goof. Unfortunately, what is the phone number goof? Fortunately, the prosecutor said the obstruction charge couldn't hold up on its own, so it had to be dropped. But I didn't want anyone thinking that I wouldn't have worked with the state to save him from being in prison. But of course, yes, I would have testified to whatever they needed to discuss. What is a phone number goof? What the fuck does that even mean, bruh? Does that sound like she was trying to protect you, Quantum? Now, that's a thing that happens. There's a lot of times where a woman is in an abusive relationship and they will file a report and then they want to take it back later on or not cooperate later on, maybe because they still love the person, even if it's a toxic relationship, or they're afraid to file the report. It's, it's one of the two. But here is Quantum's wife coming forward uh, I've spoken to her too, and that's what I will leave it at for privacy reasons. And uh, yeah, uh, the verdict is, Quantum, that you're lying. I know, shocking, shocking. Now, I will say someone who has been in relationships that have failed before, I think everyone has, is that it's never pretty towards the end. Like, look, don't go, oh, we had an amicable breakup. We had an amicable divorce. It never happens. It never, at best you'll have two people that are very cold towards each other and say, yeah, this is done. It's never like, you know what? Let's shake hands. It was great being your partner for the past 10 years. But, uh, you know, it's just not working out anymore. Hope you have a great day. Let's have a barbecue tomorrow. No, it's never like that. Horrible things are said. People fight, not physically, but people fight. People have arguments, things they're nasty said to each other. I get it. So there's a hundred sides to every story. But Quantum, I've had fairly, not in person, but I've had fairly personal experiences with you. And you have flat out lied about me many times. It's not even that. He's just a fucking psycho, bro. Like, Quantum TV gives off serial killer vibes. Like, he is the type of guy whose refrigerator you would be hesitant to fucking open in his garage. And have flat out lied about things that you said and were caught with receipts and evidence. So between you and your wife, knowing your tr proven track record to me, and how much you will lie, that you are a pathological liar, you lie about everything. I'm just gonna have to side with your wife here because I know your track history and you will lie and say whatever you need to, to get your way and to manipulate your way to seem like the victim and to seem like the hero. He's like a small and to child. Seem like you're always right. So, Quantum, I'm going to give you advice right now. That's racist, Grove. Not really. Most serial killers are white. Now, from a person who, I'm not an insane pathological narcissistic liar like you, but I'm screwed up in the head. Get help. Don't be beyond getting help. Don't think that it's going to damage your pride by seeking help, going to talk to a therapist, finding out what's wrong. It makes you become a better person. So when you're in the next Christian straight man relationship that you're in, you will be able to handle yourself better. You Dude, be I just could not imagine being in a fucking relation with 
I mean, there's a lot of people on the internet. I just cannot believe have actually had relationships. They just don't like bro. DSP, for example, like he doesn't even seem like a real fucking human being. Like, I just could not imagine DSP attempting to be intimate with anything other than his fucking cell phone as he rolls for Hulk Hogan. <laughs> but, yeah. be able to handle criticism better. You will be able to look in the mirror and see reality and not see a delusion because that is what you see right now. That is what you... A lot of serial killers are gay, actually. A lot of the reasons why they snap is because they can't come to terms with the fact that they're gay. Like, um, that, what was the weird fucking guy that would dress up as a clown? And then you had Jeffrey Dahmer. Ah, oh, there's another one too. Fuck. There's a couple of them that were like really fucking gay. But you yeah. Your video, when, when you put up that video. Yeah. Ted Bundy is another one that they kind of like wonder because like he hated women basically and it's like probably because he couldn't get hard yeah i don't fucking there's a lot of them i don't really look into serial killers that much but yeah that is a pretty predominant theme is dudes that are really fucking uh upset about their sexuality saying that look here is my proof I couldn't have had a bad relationship with my wife. We went to go see the Super Mario Brothers movie together. We went to go eat dinner together. We <laughs> went paragliding together. Yeah, but Quantum, that doesn't tell us what happened behind the scenes in between. What the f- So wait, he said he couldn't be abusive because he went to go see the fucking Mario movie? Hell yeah, man. Hey guys, you can beat your wife as long as you take her to go see the fucking Mario movie. You heard it here first. Matt. You could have had a fight with her beforehand. You could, Lord knows what could have happened before those happy moments where you went paragliding. It's like, look, we did happy, like, yeah, abusive people still, abusive relationships or toxic relationships with people still do things together. It doesn't mean because you were doing what normal couples do and going out and seeing a movie or going to dinner or going on a hike doesn't mean that there were bad things happening in between when you were doing those happy couple things. But you know, it's he, that's his delusion. Just like he literally, and he meant it, he deleted the video where he said, how could I be homophobic? I'm vegan. He thought that that was evidence to say, hey guys, how could I be a bad husband? I took my wife out to Red Lobster. I'm not laughing. That does make you a bad husband in my opinion, bruh. If somebody took me to Red Lobster, I wouldn't be happy. Get the situation. I'm laughing about how ridiculous he is. Quantum, I'm serious though, dude. The best thing you could do is get therapy and help yourself grow as a person so you can. No, dude, I hate that shit. The best thing Quantum can do is get off the fucking internet. Therapy is a waste of time. It doesn't like. You have to be a highly suggestible, weak-willed person for therapy to truly work. Because you have to be of a mental like state where you're willing to let someone else dictate to you how you should live your life. Does anyone actually think Quantum TV, the most stubborn motherfucker on the internet, He's going to listen to what some fucking loser with a psych degree tells him to do with his life? Fuck no. He is never going to fucking listen to those people. The best thing Quantum can do is get the fuck off the internet and prioritize what actually fucking matters in life. Getting his fucking shit together. Go get a real job. Go fucking figure out like what it is you actually want in life. And lose the fucking ego. And the only way he's going to do that is by interacting with real people and not living on the fucking internet. But good luck with that, man. He's addicted like Phil. So, yeah. Therapy is a complete and total waste of fucking time. Especially for someone like Quantum TV. You can have a more enjoyable life. Does that sound like I'm being horrible to you? Does it sound like I'm being a mean person? It sounds like concern trolling, honestly. And yeah, don't lay your hands on women either. Even if it's just 
lacerations on their hands. It's still abuse. This is Richard Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. I'm not going to put it in a bottle and breastfeed it to you. Yeah, I don't like the concern trolling, bro. Like, honestly, I don't care if Quantum TV does a double front flip off a fucking bridge. Like, in all honesty, I don't fucking care because I don't know the guy. But if we're just talking about objectively, the best thing he can do is get the fuck off the internet. That's not, like, concern trolling. Like, it's just a fact. He's never going to get his fucking shit together until he fucking gets off the internet. So, <laughs> it's just that simple. That's no fucking concern trolling or any type of shit. That's just the fucking facts of the situation. That motherfucker will never improve. Unless he gets the fuck off the internet. Because the internet is his problem. What is this shit? Disgusting Al... Is this new? Oh, God. Listen, he listen to me. Quantum video? Oh, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> We go from review DK oldies to review quantum TV. Yeah, due to time constraints, we're going back to gameplay for today. <laughs> Go back to gameplay forever. Review Flip Flop USA. Review Rich of Tomorrow USA. Review I'm a man with a flat ass and a small manhood USA. Let's go. Skip it a button, that up. I actually was very back and forth on making this video. Because I, I, I don't want to go completely down the, the quantum TV rabbit hole again. I know that seems ridiculous, Rich. You made the video talking about when he was arrested. And you made a video about his wife coming forward. Which quantum hate to say it, but she did. Um, but he has, again, made some allegations that... I, I, quantum, if I cared enough, if I genuinely cared enough... If I had nothing else going on in my life, I could sue you over because you're literally slandering me. But we'll get to... Uh, you could, but you wouldn't get anything because nobody actually fucking believes it. That banger towards the end, I took some other notes from his video where he, his thumbnail is an arrow pointing to my video saying ignore this upload where I say Quantum TV's wife comes comes forward because that makes someone seem very innocent. We're like, yeah, just ignore this video that's out there. That's going to work out real well for you, Quantum. Well, anyway, uh, I'm falling for the bait. You set me off and I have a response to you. Let's go. So a few days ago, which I knew he was going to take down this video. This is a little bit of a side note. Okay. Uh, public address, Quantum TV arrested for domestic violence. Yeah, shockingly, that video is no longer on his channel because he aired out dirty laundry that I've seen people go on TMI. But first off, his arguments as to why he couldn't have been a bad husband were nonsensical. He's like, yeah, I took her to Denny's. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but the... Bruh, once again... If somebody took me to Denny's, I would be insulted. Context. Like, you really couldn't fucking spend the extra money for IHOP? Had to be fucking Denny's? There, he's like, I don't know. How could I be a bad husband? We went out to dinner, and we went to a movie. Like, if she was unhappy with me, would these things happen? Yes, they would, Quantum. Yes, they would happen. And I have, even in your insane mind, I think you... Realized that video was ridiculous and you took it down. I got good news for you, though. I, I have it saved. Not because I'm going to show it here because I don't feel like dealing with you. Most breakfast places are fucking gross. Oh, my God. Want to go to Denny's with me, Griffin? Uh, no. Fucking suck dicks in an Olive Garden bathroom. But just in case it's ever needed for some kind of evidence... I got it. Okay. Just putting that out there. Um, you you got to understand something, Quantum. I may have you uh, on the soundboard, which I'm sure bothers you. But besides for using, like, I'm not going to put it in a bottle and breastfeed it to you. I don't think about you, dude. Jokes come up on live streams. But when we Griffin, blink twice if Brit is hurting you. I'm blinking rapidly, guys.
was the last time minus recently send help i made a video about you and the only reason that videos were made is i get flooded on twitter flooded on social media quantum tv got arrested rambo tweety came up to me a whole bunch of other people came to me and and, and i verified it that's what i did i didn't do digging i made sure it was true because i don't want to put out misinformation unlike someone else who i'm talking about in this video you i actually vet my stuff i actually make sure that i have accurate information so you could cry all you want to that it's hearsay that it's this that it's that i'm not sitting there thinking about you quantum people come to me because they know what happened last year between you and i on my channel and that's why i get the information i'm not sniffing your farts every day wondering what they smell like i don't want to know what they smell like hopefully they smell good in your hotel room so quantum I i've seen this firsthand i didn't grow up in a, in a broken home i didn't grow up where my parents fought or anything like that but i have seen with my own eyes how people are in toxic relationships people can get arrested people can go through many things it and the person is released i have i know people i'm envisioning the person right now that that happened to it doesn't make them innocent it just means that the person who filed the charges either doesn't want to file the charges or like your wife said, there was some t kind of technicality that I, don't shoot the messenger, dude. That's the information I got. I'm not sitting behind the scenes politicking with anonymous. The, la uh, the last time I Damn, spoke to bro. him was months ago. The contrast on those flames is way too fucking high. When he had information about you and he came forward to it with me. I don't know if that's it, like a filter they're using for the gameplay or if that's the actual fucking game, but holy shit, man. Doesn't even look like fire. It looks like somebody's like dumping paint on the screen. It was months ago when he had information about you. That looks fucking awful, man. When he came forward to it with me. I, I mean, I have no issue with the anonymous. He seems like a nice dude. He's. Hopefully that's not what the actual game looks like, man. That looks awful. It's been cool with me, but it's not like we're sitting there having tea and crumpets and with a poster. They've got to have like some sort of filter. Like the contrast is way too fucking high. Review in the background. I might be selling shirts with your AI image on it soon, but that's different. <laughs> But dude, I'm not sitting there plotting and politicking with people behind the scenes talking about your ass, man. We're not doing that. It is absolutely positively not happening. But when you derp, which everybody predicted you were going to do again, okay, it, it's going to be discussed. All right, there's news articles out there about you. Did I write those news articles? So you thinking that I'm like obsessed with you, dude, stop. The last time I made a video about you before these two what was what, 2022? We moved on, dude. We moved on. So stop making it like I'm sitting there plotting and scheming against you. But now he can't move on because now my wife is out of the picture. So the only thing this motherfucker has in life at this point is his internet identity. So now all he's going to fucking do day in and day out is engage in fucking YouTube drama. Like, Quantum TV is about to get worse than ever fucking before. Because now he has literally nothing else to fill his time. You. I don't care about you. Except when you go off the deep end like this. And you bait me in by putting out absolutely disgusting allegations again. And you keep on bringing up, Quantum, what happened with YouTube. I Look, my channel's this. fine. I don't care, dude. I I almost had my channel shut down with false copyright claims back in 2014. It had, like, welcome to YouTube. It, it happens to literally everybody on this platform. If you think I'm sitting there salty because of that, get over it, man. I've dealt with much worse here, and I've dealt with psychotic trolls the whole nine. You getting a warning on my account, which does not affect me, is not what I'm losing sleep over. And the amazing thing is in this video, he's like, well, if you talk to my wife, why don't you prove that you talk to her? Dude, we're not going to dox your wife <laughs> to put out. We're going to respect their privacy, dude. We're going to respect it. Okay. Again, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just the one relaying the message. 
uh, that would be she does not want her information understandably out there. We are going to respect her privacy. Deal with it. It's that simple. The fact prove it. Yeah. So let, let me. Yeah. Here. Here. Yeah. I can. I can see both sides of that argument because for all you know, it could just be some random motherfucker claiming to be his wife. So. I can see both sides of that where it's like, yeah, obviously if you're going to say like with 100% certainty that his wife is coming out and making a public statement, it's like, well, yeah, then she should publicly fucking make that statement. She shouldn't make a private statement to public figures with the intention of them spreading that fucking statement if she doesn't want to be out in the public. Like, that doesn't fucking compute. Like, that's like basically me going to like a news outlet and saying, hey, I want to make public allegations against someone, but don't tell anyone what I actually fucking said and don't actually show the fucking like quotes and information I sent you. Paraphrase it for me. Like, that's so fucking weird. No reputable news site would do that shit. They would want to quote you. And that's basically what they're saying is we're not going to quote her <laughs> because we don't want to like, you know, invade her privacy. But it's like, well, why is she going to fucking 1 million sub YouTubers with public statements about her divorce if she wants privacy? It's like the fucking South Park meme with uh, Meghan Markle and fucking Prince Harry. You know, respect our privacy. Meanwhile, they're doing all this shit out in the fucking public. It's like, you can't have both. Either keep to yourself and you'll get privacy. Or put out a public statement and you'll get publicity. Like, yeah, so I understand his perspective. I think it's fucking dumb. And I also understand Rich's perspective of not wanting to dox the wife. But it's like, at the same time... If she's coming to you as a public content creator saying, hey, share my fucking statement, she's asking for publicity at that point. It's only fair to present what she actually said, not someone else's interpretation of what she said, what she actually fucking said. So I don't know, man. I, I see both sides. Vendetta with the two, don't worry. That's the high contrast. It's probably like an HDR like capture or something that's really fucking bad, is my guess. But yeah, those colors look fucking awful. Midnight Mobile with the five. They're porting Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart on PC. PlayStation's account confirmed it on Twitter. I hope we get more shit from them. Oh, I think Jim Ryan said recently that they're making a shit ton of money from PC ports, so... More are to come. I think two to three years, they said, is the timeline to expect. So it sounds like we're getting a lot more. Quantum, here is uh, your wife's... But what'll be interesting is they claimed that game was only playable on an SSD. So I'm wondering if the uh, minimum spec requirements are going to require you to have an SSD or not. That'll be funny. Full name, uh, here's her address, here's her phone number, uh, here's her blood type. That's, alright, that's disingenuous as fuck. Like, nobody's asking, like... I prove it, yeah, so let, let me... Yeah, here, here, Quantum, here is uh, your wife's full name, uh, here's her address, here's her phone number, uh, here's her blood type. Are, are you... Are, it you could literally have just recorded her statement and not released her name, not released her phone number, and not released her fucking blood type. See, that's that's really fucking dumb. That's really disingenuous. That's not what he's fucking asking for. He wants her to actually be on record making a statement, not someone else's interpretation of what he said she said. With no actual proof, she said it in the fucking first place. Big difference. So, no, that that's a little bit of a fucking straw man, my guy. That's pretty disingenuous. Vendetta with the two, no actual in-game filter change. Ew, that's gross, man. Why the fuck would anybody turn that shit on? Is it your wife? Uh, okay. Him. Him, my wife. Need anything else? Her social security number? Do you need a passport? <laughs> like, 
blood? Do you want a hair sample? Like, what do you want? He wants the actual statement from her, not someone else's fucking paraphrasing. Of course, we're not going to put information out there. You could say it's hearsay or not, but we're not going to put her information out there. You don't have to put her information out there. You could just release the fucking text she sent without her phone number attached. Like, it's not crazy. And put her at risk of something just to one up you. That's not how we work. You may work that way. You may not have ethics, which we're going to get to in a second. Like, why can't she release a voice clip of her account of the events? Why does it need to be recounted to a YouTuber and then they paraphrase it in their own fucking words? Like, that doesn't make sense. Like, if she wants her statement out there, release a fucking statement. Don't make a private statement and then say, well, don't tell anyone what I actually said, but put it in your own words. Like, bruh. <laughs> I, I understand why he's like fucking, um, you know, a little suspicious of it. And I mean, I guess I understand too, wanting to protect her privacy, but if she's coming to you, a YouTuber with a public statement, why are you worried about her privacy when she literally wants her public fucking statement? Out? Like, it makes no sense, man. It's really fucking stupid. This whole situation's fucking stupid. Like, honestly, I don't give a fuck if Quantum beat the shit out of his wife or not. It has zero effect on my life. But, Jesus Christ, man. But, I do. I wouldn't have a YouTube channel if I just purposely put out misinformation about people just because I wanted to get back at them. There's people that I truly despise. You're on that list, too, that even when they're right about something, it's like, yeah, you know what? My feelings aside, I got to give credit where credit's due. They make sense. I don't even think he made it up, bro. Like, this is the thing is he probably did talk to Quantum's wife. But the thing is that I can understand from Quantum's perspective, because if I put myself in his shoes in a situation like this, how the fuck do I know what's being said? Like, that's the thing is like, unless I actually heard it from my wife's mouth, why would I take his fucking word for it? Like, that's what I mean. Like, you can't say his wife makes a statement and then not have the actual statement from his wife. That's a contradiction. What you have is the third party account of a private conversation Quantum's wife had with an ex Discord mod. That's not his wife putting out a statement. So I understand why he's like skeptical and has an issue with it, but I don't know. The whole thing's fucking stupid, man. It's a massive waste of time if you really want to boil it down. That's there. So you thinking that I'm putting misinformation out there about you just for the sake of it is absolutely insane. But you're insane. So what else do I expect? And this mother... I forgot I'm on YouTube. Okay, this is not a live stream. Again, Quantum TV says that because I've watched Vosh that I am the uh, P word, the EDP 445 word. Let's use that. Anyway, here's a clip from his weird video where for some reason, whenever he's angry, he doesn't show his face. <laughs> I've noticed that too, or maybe it's weird. Like he goes through where, you know, he'll film himself and then all of a sudden he stops. And anyway, it's just him staring. Well, it's because he makes some fucking videos on his cell phone, bro. Man's balling on a budget in a fucking Motel 6 right now. Midnight Mobile with the 11 ultra wide support, unlocked frame rate, performance enhancing technologies like NVIDIA DLSS, ray tracing support. But yeah, Ratchet and Clank PS5 is better because my SSD is here. That's right, man. It's only possible because of the PlayStation 5 SSD. Believe it. Bruh. Bring up my video where he had to show that he hit the thumbs down on the video because he's such. He's so. So insecure. Hey guys, look, I disliked Rich's video. You should go do the same. Like you see it actually in the That's clip. Right, but anyway, bro. here is him justifying quintupling down on calling me 
an EDP 445 again oh, no. and why he thinks it makes sense. Enjoy. Rich, let's let's revisit it. You're upset because you supported Vosh, a grown ass man who said he wants the legal age for consent and in, in sexual relationships with minors to be lowered. And the same breath also saying to be ethically consistent with slave labor happening around the world, we need to also Bro rip the gameplay footage. Endorse CP. Hey buddy. You got called a court Yeah, Apollo got a uh, haircut today. I took him to the groomers and he looks like a very different dog right now. Corresponding name of a man who identifies with a guy like that, who endorses a guy like that. No, it's no they different shaved than his if you fucking were in Jared balls, Fogel's circle bro. when he was doing all his crap. Like, I kid you not, they literally shaved his balls. <laughs> so, like, he was laying on the fucking ground earlier. Oh, my God. And, like, literally his nuts were, like, tucked between his legs, sticking out the back. And there's just, like, these two big black balls like up against his white fur and it was fucking weak like you'd get called a certain name then too okay hold on the same i think way, i took a picture were of on it. epstein check. island so first off what i find so amazing is, is because you're angry you'll just flat out put out a lie you yeah will i did say right, hold on, let me send it that myself. my children aren't <laughs> safe around me the man was just chilling i've watched a live streamer that had a very bad take that he he was trying to make an <laughs> normally like they're covered in fur so you don't see but they literally shaved his balls bro like i've never heard of like a groomer shaving a dog's balls like what was the point of that i don't know but yeah look check this shit out like that's what i was looking at earlier i was playing mass effect and I look over across the fucking room and he's just laying on the fucking ground with these big ass black balls sticking out. <laughs> Bruh. But yeah, they, they shaved him clean, dude. Straight to the fucking scrot. Like, a clean fucking shave on his nuts. Like, typically, they're completely covered in white fur. You would not even really be able to tell they're black. But, yeah. They shave that perfectly. And it's like, bro, they're so noticeable now. It's really weird. Edgy analogy. Vosh, that is. <laughs> yeah. And a clean I actually shaved have children, sack. and you'll put that out there just because you want to get back at me. The... How is this how important? No, they're actually um all Asian there. They're not white. And your pride is to you, Quantum, that you could look at where you are in life right now. He said I actually had to write it down. He's like, oh, well, that's rich. That's like rich watching Vosh as the equivalent of him being in Jared Fogel's circle or finding out he visited Epstein Island. He's comparing me watching a live streamer occasionally on YouTube to being in Jeffrey Epstein's black book and, and, and if like I was with Prince Andrew taking pictures with Jeffrey Epstein on the island. Quantum, you're in, like, look, I get it, man. You're baiting me into talking about you. I'm not dumb. I've been doing this for over a decade now, bro. I get it. I understand. You're surprised I got him back? I mean, to be fair, he's a pretty valuable dog. Somebody probably would want to steal him. But and then you're telling people that CPS should come to my house, and my Apollo is like a multi-thousand dollar me? dog. Live in your motel, Quantum. Be maidenless. You're maidenless now. Remember you used to flex that, saying that people who liked Elden Ring couldn't get any. They didn't have girlfriends or wives, and you showed off your ring on your finger, saying, "I paid four grand for Apollo." Like, a purebred white golden retriever is very expensive. They're not cheap. I'm not made in lists. Now you are. And you're probably living, like, in a motel somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you want to come at me, dude, and say that my children aren't safe around me? Look at where your pride is Yeah, he's worth some to. money, man. You're alone. No one trusts you. Everyone knows that you're a liar. 
and everything around you is crumbling. Torbulus of the Five, it's proven that the human eye cannot see past hard drive speeds. That's a lie, bro. As Walt Jr. would say, You're a liar! <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, man. As a proud owner of a PlayStation 5, I can confirm that it changed my life. Because you just can't admit fault. Is it worth it? To you it is, I guess. So sit alone in whatever Motel H you're in and think about all this. And try to make up another lie about me to defame me. I'm not sending a mob after you. CPS doesn't need to come to my house because I watched a live streamer. You're just an angry, embittered, narcissistic, prideful loser. That it Bro, Quantum TV is officially a fucking incel now. Is very insecure and has an inferiority complex and rather be alone and dig his own grave than admit he's wrong. And that's pathetic. But you know what? You Quantum TV is literally now a fucking incel on the internet. Want to keep putting those allegations out about me? I ain't going to have mercy on you, dude. You're garbage. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Enjoy being maidenless. You think Quantum will ever become a lull? Ah, uh, he, he kind of already is, man. <laughs> he pretty much already is at this point. But I'm going to probably go ahead and hop off, guys. It's like, what, 4.45? So I'm probably going to go ahead and get some sleep. I'm fucking tired. Tomorrow night, we'll do the um Secret Limited video, or at least start it. I don't know how much. We'll probably watch most of it, I would say, or probably finish it. But yeah, we'll check that out, which should be very fucking fun. These videos are typically straight up bangers. <laughs> we'll be checking this out tomorrow. 100 Rage Quits DSP Gaming. So, yeah, everybody get excited. It should be pretty fun. Also, tomorrow, I guess I'll run the poll for the uh, next Xbox Game Pass banger that we'll uh, be playing on stream next as well too at least until the uh, new call of duty season starts so have a wonderful saturday everyone and i will talk to y'all later peace out everyone